Assalamu alaikum students welcome to slate this is me khwaja yasin let's study chemistry so in the last video of chemical bonding we talked about the simple covalent compounds or the covalent compounds but in this video it's going to be a short one we will just talk about giant covalent compounds also known as sometimes mentioned in the exam as macromolecules now giant covalent compounds what did we know about covalent compounds liquids gases low melting boiling point no conductivity that's what it was about but giant covalent compounds operate differently in your syllabus there are only three examples that you need to study which is first is diamond second is graphite and third is silicon dioxide diamond graphite silicon dioxide for diamond and graphite we know they are both allotropes of carbon what do we mean by allotropes having same chemical composition but different structural arrangement or geometry and the last is silicon dioxide which is sio2 made up of silicon and oxygen and these two are made up just of carbon so all we need to know is their structure their properties that's it so we start off with diamond so diamond has a tetrahedral geometry where each carbon is covalently bonded to four other carbons and the angle between those carbons is 109 degree so that's what we know about diamond tetrahedral geometry each carbon is covalently bonded to four other carbons because remember carbon has a valency of 4 so one car one electron will be shared with another carbon the other will be another with, with another carbon so all four with another carbon i can show you show you that this way this is one carbon and then we have four other carbons so that's how it goes and the structure will keep on repeating itself because this carbon will be bonded with four or three other three others three others and likewise but how does a tetrahedral geometry looks like this is one carbon it is bonded with one carbon at this angle then another carbon with this angle this is tetrahedral geometry where we see that it's actually a 3d shape where three are bonded this way and one is bonded this way that all of them have a similar angle between them which is 109 this is like a pyramid at the base and top another carbon at the top so how is the structure will be repetitive one how will that be this is one this will make three bonds this will further make three bonds this will further make three more bonds and they will further make their four bonds 
respectively with all carbons and the structure will be a repetitive one dear students that's how diamond is about let me show you the structure of diamond the way they will give you in the exam the way you need to know that how it looks like so diamond looks like this they will give you this very figure in the exam they will not ask you to draw it don't worry but that's the structure you're going to get this is diamond what are the other properties of diamond then hardest material alive hardest material out there hardest hence highest melting and boiling points what about their electrical conductivity no electrical conduction why because as you see no electron is free all of them are locked inside so that is why that's no electrical conduction uses for drilling as it's hard it can drill any surface or cutting diamond jewelry diamond is so hard that only a diamond can cut diamond unlike simple covalent compounds giant one has a high melting point and boiling point so that it's the hardest material out there see that's difference the difference now graphite again made up of carbon this has a hexagonal geometry hexagon let me show you how each carbon is covalently bonded to three other carbons not four this time one electron will be free out there so let's try to make the bond this will make an angle of 120 between all three so angle is 120 look at the fans at the top on the roof it's the same angle 120 so this carbon is bonded to three other carbons and now this carbon is bonded to one two three others now this carbon is one two and three others this carbon will be bonded to one two three others this will be also be bonded with three likewise this as well that's how a hexagon looks like okay so students that's what a, hex a hexagon looks like and if we repeat it repeat the structure that's what you will get in the exam there is covalent bonding between carbons and they form a 2d layer this is a two dimensional layer but then there are weak intermolecular phase forces between the layers so they are weak students remember they are weak so so since carbon and graphite bonds with three this is the carbon has four electrons but it only bonds with three others one electron is free here what will that electron help us with graphite conducts electricity due to free electrons they all have free electrons now they have a layered structure
and graphite is also used as a lubricant. Why used as a lubricant? Because layers can move, layers can slide this way because of weak intermolecular forces between them. That's one property of graphite. And when it conducts electricity, it is used as electrodes as well. And then it has also a high melting and boiling point because it's a solid. And lastly, that's what we know about graphite. Silicon dioxide. This also has a tetrahedral structure. Like diamond. Exactly like diamond, students. What will happen? In the formula, you see one silicon and two oxygens, but it's not bonded that way. Silicon makes four bonds. Silicon is bonded with one oxygen, second oxygen, third oxygen, four oxygen, so it goes down, silicon, one oxygen, two oxygen, three. That's how the bonding in silicon is like. Similar to that of diamond. But obviously, when we talk about the formula, this is one formula, this is one formula, this is one formula. The, the lower oxygens will have their own silicon and that's why it's SiO2. Silicon dioxide is also called quartz mineral. Used in the watches. This is also sand as well. Silicon dioxide is also, also sand. So this has its uses as well. Quartz mineral used in watches. Even silicon dioxide is used in glass making. So these are the, and when you get the structure of silicon dioxide, this is the structure. This is the structure of both diamond in SiO2. And this is the structure of graphite. So these are the three giant covalent compounds in your syllabus and they have different properties. Graphite being the only covalent compound that can also conduct electricity. Silicon dioxide cannot conduct electricity. It has a high melting and boiling point. No conduction. High melting and boiling point. So that's what we know about the giant covalent compounds. In the next video, we'll talk about the metallic bonding. So thank you so much for being here with me.